Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, up till the last lecture, I mean the last video, we were looking at uh, how to write programs and code blocks. Now, the problem is, uh, as mentioned, as stated earlier, code blocks may will not allow certain uh, certain compiler options that that uh, that does not get uh, that uh, that that is actually required for processing and compiling and executing with certain Fortran files in uh, real in for real time applications. So so instead we will be starting this program instead of, instead of code blocks into Genie. And for the next for the few tutorials we will be using the compile and build options of Genie to work with it. And after some time we will do the entire process of Genie using the terminal that is available in Genie. Now Genie is just like a normal normal uh, programming IDE and but it's lighter and also has features to you know have a terminal, a scribble pad, a scratch board and a message message block, compiler stat compiler block and a status file status dashboard like this and all. You know, it's and you know pick any editor you guys like. I don't it, it the, whichever that makes you you know whichever is comfortable for you guys doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I prefer Genie for because I found it really nice and useful. Mm, it's your option. Okay. Today we are going to start. Okay. I I already opened a program called the Squadron.f95 because this program we'll be finding the uh, we'll be finding the length uh, length I mean the distance of a certain point uh, from the from the origin and if possible the what is the angle between that line and the line connecting the point the line joining the point and the origin okay so let me start with it by the way the uh, syntax the syntax coloring might be different from code blocks and genie so you guys just, you guys just can take a note of that okay now let's start uh, program to find the length and angle of a line connecting the given given point and the origin in an x y plane okay also we will find the quadrant in which we'll find the quadrant of the point we'll find the quadrant of the point okay now let's start our program program uh, quadrant and program this is one of the features I like about Genie. You guys, if you guys notice, I did I just typed half, but it, it gives me auto completion features and all to finish all this. And before you guys start Genie, start Genie, I just guys like to make a. F I'll, I'll tell you guys to make a few uh, corrections. First of one of them is that go to the preferences option, and uh, see Fortran is a little picky with uh, tab tab uh, indentations using tabs. So what you do is I'll go to the edit. Uh, to go yeah editor and then in, uh, in the indentations set your uh, set your tab which to be four and make sure the tabs are actually filled with spaces okay and click up click apply make sure that being done properly and then in the completions part of it make sure that this auto complete symbols automatic line conversion of multi automatic conversion of multi lines and all this stuff all these are applied and click OK. And then while I write the document, make sure that your line breaking option is open so that watch if you guys uh, start writing something given point, you guys notice what happened? Uh, automatically, even without you saying the the program just where the uh, editor just uh, uh, pushed us to the next line okay there is a there's a reason why you see this line over here 
if when you try to print a program on a piece of paper beyond this line uh, the whatever you type may not get printed may not get printed properly so what you have to do is that while you write uh, write a program you just have to align them in multiple lines like this so that's the reason why okay now now we're ready now we're ready without any further ado we'll start implicit none okay we need real two values for it let them let uh, for the coordinates x comma y x comma y and then uh, i need uh, i need the value of pi because i have to find the angle of the i have to find the angle of this of these points so i may i may need the i may need the value of pi so but this pi has to be a constant meaning uh, if i declare a variable with a va certain value pi a certain value and that value has to remain as it is throughout the throughout the program for that to happen i there is this attribute called as parameter what this parameter does is that it makes sure that the value stored to that remains as it is now pi is a parameter and if you want to write the value you can just write write the value like 3.14159 and so on but for but 159 five digits of accuracy but there's another way instead of this there's this another way called another way using um, the in the in, intrinsic in, intrinsic inverse trigonometric function so uh, for instance pi can be written as 4 into a tan a tan of 1 if you guys notice tan uh, tan tan of 45 degrees or tan of pi by 4 degree pi by 4 radians is actually 1 so uh, tan tan of uh, pi by 4 or tan of 45 degrees is 1 so the the arc tan or the inverse tan of 1 is actually pi by 4 so if i just multiply that by 4 you get you get pi or else Uh, as an uh, as an alternative you can also try uh, 2 into a sin of uh, 1 this is also possible or uh, you know 2 into cos of 0 sorry a cos of 0 but i but many people prefer the tan statement because this is a little more accurate in the calculation that's what i heard anyway you can use these are also into your consideration so with this being said if i were to change the value of pi to you know 6 somewhere in the program okay if i were to compile this now the compiling keys are very easy here if it's if it if for compiling where to where you produce all the object files i'll explain you guys in a minute we'll see you guys what object files are in a few tutorials later okay uh, uh, then if you need to build the command build it you get executable and then when you type execute to run the program okay okay now for those the keyboard keys are simple f f8 f9 and f5 so if i just put f9 f8 i just i compile okay it just throws me an error stating that uh, see the i have declared this to be I declare this value to be. Uh, uh, I declare the value here, but it is showing me that this a ten must be real or uh, complex. That doesn't matter. We'll fix this. Up. We'll fix this issue. It shows another warning saying that the symbol pi at one has it has no implicit type. Has no implicit type. Okay. Let me let's fix this out. I think this should be 1.0 to make sure that it's a double value. If you just run this, this error goes away. This error goes away because you have to pa you cannot pass integers inside this a tan function. You have to pass only one, the real number. So 1.0 is a by default real number. But here you get an error here. Why? Because you fix pi as a constant, but you're trying to modify the value of pi here, so it it won't accept. So the because of that. You you get you get up an error, so suppose uh, so that's that's an example of you know uh, that's an example of the parameter value and all. Okay, this video is getting a little too longer. Uh, in a few in a, in another two to three videos, we will complete this program, and in this process, I'll tell you guys about uh, intrinsic functions, 
uh, we will find the length of the tri length of this line and uh, we will we'll find the quad quadrant of the point and all in the in, up in upcoming to in the and uh, up in the tutorials and while doing that we will also cross a lot of features along with it okay thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next tutorial bye guys